so here we have our next example a sparingly soluble gas a solute in equilibrium with a solvent at train bar the mass transfer of the solvent in the gas phase is 0.01 at the operating temperature and pressure the fugacity coefficient of the solute in the gas phase and the Henry's law are 0.92 and 1000 bar respectively assume that the liquid phase obeys Henry's law and the mole percent of the solute in the liquid phase rounded off to two decimal places so first in this case we are gonna focus on the dimensions of the Henry's law constant so the dimensions of the Henry's law constant is in the dimensions of the pressure and this equation can be expressed in three fashions so we know that the first fashion in which the Henry's constant can be described is partial pressure PAG is equal to the mole fractions times the, the Henry's constant where the dimensions of the Henry's constant in this case is equivalent to the dimensions of pressure and in the second case the partial pressure can be written as the concentration of A times the Henry's constant and in this case the dimensions of the Henry constant will be pressure over concentration this will be in Newton per meter square or bar or atmosphere and this will be in K moles per meter cube and the another one is y is equal to x a times h and in this case the dimensions of the Henry's constant is dimensionless but in this case they have mentioned the dimensions of the Henry's constant is in bar means we are gonna make the use of this expression and we know that this partial pressure can be written as the mole fraction y e g times the total pressure which is equal to the mole fraction of the component A in the liquid that is our solute times the Henry's constant H but this is only valid for ideal gas and as they have mentioned the fugacity of the gas is 0 0.92 so we are gonna consider the correction and this equation and we are gonna multiply this with 0 0.92 and here we need to find the molar percent of the solute in the liquid phase and they have mentioned the mass transfer of the solvent in the gas phase so we need to take the mass transfer of the solute in the gas phase that is 1 minus 0 0.01 times the total pressure they have mentioned as 10 bar and here we have the fugacity coefficient 0 0.92 as this is not an ideal gas and this is x a times the the Henry's constant is 1000 bar and we are going to calculate this so this will be 1 minus 0 0.01 times 10 multiplied by 0 0.92 this should be equal to x a times the Henry's constant is 1000 bar so this will be our x a is equal to 9.108 into 10 to the power negative 3 but we need to find the mole percent so we are going to multiply this term with 100 and we get it at 0 0.9108 so the molar percent of the solute in the liquid phase uh, to the rounded off to two decimal place is 0 0.9108 it is important to note that here we need to take 1 minus 0 0.01 because yag is the mass transfer of the solute in the gas phase and not the mass transfer of the solvent in the gas phase so let's take another example okay so here we have our question consider the steady state mass transfer of the solute a from the gas phase to the liquid phase the gas phase bulk and interface mole fractions are yag and yi respectively the liquid phase bulk and interface mole fractions are XAL and XAI respectively. The ratio YAI minus XAI over YAG minus YAI is very close to zero. This implies that the mass transfer resistance is negligible in the gas phase only, negligible in the liquid phase only, or negligible in the both phases, or considerable in the both phases. So in this case we know that from the concept of the two resistance if we draw an interface 
so this will be our gas side and this will be our liquid side so if we draw the curve this is something will be gonna be like this so this is why aj that the mole fraction of the component a in the bulk gas and this is why i that is the mole fraction of the component a at the interface in gaseous state and this will be xai that is the mole fraction of the component a at the interface in liquid and this is xal that is the mole fraction of the component a in the bulk liquid so in this case we know that we are going to assume the diffusional flux of the gases and liquids are same so if we write the the, uh, the diffusional flux for the gas we get na is equal to ky times yag minus yi and the diffusional flux in the liquid side can be written as kx times xai minus xal and these are gonna be equal so if we equate this so ky times yag minus yai should be equal to kx times xai minus xal and we need to bring our equation in this form so this will be ky over small kx should be equal to xai minus xal over yag minus yai and this is the mass transfer coefficient and but we need to find the relation of this equation with the mass transfer resistance so we can write this equation as 1 over small kx over 1 over small ky should be equal to xai minus xal over yag minus yai let's check whether we have written it correctly or not so 1 upon small kx to small ky okay so this expression is correct so we have converted the mass transfers into the mass transfer coefficient into the mass transfer resistance and they have mentioned this term so 1 upon small kx over 1 upon small ky is very close to 0 so which indicates that 1 upon small kx is very close to 0 and this 1 upon small ks is the mass transfer resistance for liquid phase so our answer will be it is neglected in the liquid phase only because 1 upon small kx is equal to 0 and we know that 1 upon small kx is the resistance in the liquid phase so this was all the information regarding how to tackle with the problems which are dependent upon the concept of interface mass transfers and thank you for watching this video.